right at one. You can't, you can't end and start again. I know that. So that's I did it last night, I did. Where's your camera? Was that you? The cam this is the camera. Here. What? I look so fast to you for the music. It's, on, it's in the blue basket. It's in the band room. Um, like, that's the camera. All right, we're ready to begin. 
some scary moments there trying to get our live stream. We thought it wasn't working, but I have someone watching and they say it is working and then I said zoom in and I zoomed in too far and then it's a delay and then I zoomed back out too far. And so uh, welcome those of you who are watching at home and, and the people who are here with us today. Pretty exciting to finally be playing music for actual people. So thank you for being here. Um, we're going to start with a song called Terminal Velocity that the, the junior high actually played last year, so it was a good song for us to start the year with and when we were playing in our Zooms because all of the ninth, ninth graders knew it pretty well and they liked it. So uh, Terminal Velocity is the term for the fastest speed you get when you're jumping. So the song is actually um, programmatic in that it's like a, someone base jumping. So it's somebody climbing up to the top of a giant building, waiting. So the slow part is them waiting, and then when it speeds back up, that's them jumping off the building. So terminal velocity.
not bad at all for no actual rehearsals we kind of rehearsed today but we didn't play the whole song so nice job that's a good start the next tune we're going to play for you is called nevermore which is the famous word that's repeated frequently in the edgar allen poe um, poem the raven right so this is based on that poem this is kind of a weird song to play in an outdoor concert it's kind of weird and like a spooky movie sounding and it's slow and the wind and all of that is a challenge so uh, the kids had a good time playing it though so that's why we're going to do it so and it's going to feature a, a hannah cornwell over here who stepped up and learned the piano part at the last second so hannah hit the key we hear you right okay that's a sound check
We survived. I told you that was kind of a weird tune, right? And, and one of the things is Hannah did a nice job with that creepy part, but there's a part in the middle where she's supposed to play these really <clears throat> dissonant sounds, and then I think you want a finger was on the wrong. It sounded like Billy Joel for a second. It sounded all kind of like poppy. It's supposed to sound even weirder. It's okay. Um, we're doing the best we can. Okay, so we have awards to give out tonight, and I'll try to go quick through all of this stuff so that we're not here too long. And uh, looks like I'm in the shadow. You guys will be in the shadow soon. I'm sorry about having to stare into the sun and the people who are watching at home. That's got to be a lot of glare. You probably can't see the band very well, but soon you will be able to. So we have um, freshmen. We, we do this thing called standards of achievement, which is um, the students playing scales and uh, musicianship skills. And they have a, a sheet to check off, and that's something we've been doing for a long, long time, you know, like 15 years or something. I think I've been doing that. And uh, so transitioning into the virtual environment, we had to kind of come up with a new way to do it. And instead of kids playing their scales for me, they had to submit them. And then instead of me signing a piece of paper for them, figured out how to sign their PDFs. And uh, it's a whole new world of that. But uh, we kept it going, and they did a great job with it. So to get your certificate or your medal or your, your B, the students have to have finished all 13 scales and then two of the four musicianship things. Usually it's four musicianship things, but given the the, you know, that we're not in the same space, it's hard to get all four things done. So they had to get 13 things done. And so this is uh, not all of the freshmen, it's the, all of the freshmen that are done. And I always say this at every spring uh, end of the year concert, if your kid didn't get their name called, then you can say like, hey, what's going on? Because they have assignments that aren't done. You know, these ended up being assignments. And they still have till the end of the year to get these things done. And they can still get their award before the end of the year, they're just not gonna get it tonight. So I'll call their names out, and if they can come up real quick, it's alphabetical, so you can maybe anticipate um, y your name. And, uh, and in the middle, and during these, when I get to the outstanding ninth grade musician, I'll, I'll mention that person as well. So the first ninth grader alphabetically to have finished all of their SOA stuff is Miranda Klein. Sitting back there in the bass clarinet section is Ariana Cuevas Meza. I never said your last name before, is that right? <laughs> and a uh, trumpet player next is Sierra Fong. Sarai Garcia. Yeah, we should stay with the fist bumps because they always would shake my hands and their hands would be so sweaty and clammy and it's like weak. It's gross, so I'm gonna stick with this. Uh, next uh, is we have a percussionist who finished all of their uh, rudiments and that doesn't usually happen, especially in the ninth grade level. That's Jimena Garcia. So we have Alondra Hernandez. I should know how to say this last name because I uh, had this student as a, in Gr Gretchen Higgins, but I don't know how to say it. Wizam Kara. You want to help me? Karaja. Wizam Karaja. Next, uh, another saxophone player, Alex Morales. <laughs> the 
Josh Padilla. Josh turned in like five of his scales last night. It's okay. We all procrastinate. And uh, the last person I have a certificate for uh, is also our outstanding freshman musician, um, someone who did a great job. I haven't uh, met, I met this person at the eighth grade um, thing in the gym, you know, when the kids came to talk about what classes they were gonna, but then haven't seen her since except for on Zoom. So she came to all of the Zooms and always did a great job with all of her recordings and plays a very difficult instrument. Unfortunately, she's moving to Colorado, which is very sad, because uh, Mr. Russo never, sorry, Mr. Russo, to throw you under the bus. Uh, um, never sent me any French horn players, and now the only one we have is moving to Colorado. So give it up for Caitlin Marsh, our outstanding ninth grade musician. Okay, we're going to continue with some more music. This is a tune called Where Words End. It's a, a beautiful, uh, slow piece.
Okay, uh, next we're going to have our 10th grade um, outstanding 10th grade musicians. The 10th graders, the, the, what you receive e each year gets a little bit better. So the, what they get for the 10th grade um, finishing their SOA is a, a medal, which I think in the catalog is called a dog tag, but that seems they're not quite worthy of being called dog tags. Um, so the people who finished, we have first, it's Bryn Dominguez, who's not here tonight, but we can give her a round of applause, because maybe she's watching at home. No, she's at a basketball tournament, so she could be on her phone. Next we have Dallin Kersey. Christine Lopez. The memory of uh, Mark, Mark's here, and me and Christine popped up on Facebook when Christine was like that tall uh, from the sixth grade band concert, I think, or maybe fifth grade. Um, next is Fernando Lopez. We have Diego Munez. <laughs> Regina Murillo. Michael Sullivan. Eurydia Toro. Johnny Jonathan Torres. And lastly, Emily Ventura. But what about the outstanding musician? I forgot. Well, that makes it more suspenseful, because which one of them was it? It was Johnny Torres. Come on down. All right. We're going to continue with music. This song is actually written by the same person. Did you guys notice there was programs? I don't know if anybody cares about having a program. But in the program, there is the dates for next year. So maybe on your way out, if you're a continuing person, it's kind of a good thing to have there. They're over there. Um, this song is called Kinetic Dances.
And I'm going to give a quick shout out there to the percussion section, and particularly um, Melanie Espinosa, our uh, our percussion section leader. She, yeah, you can give it up for her, and I'll explain why. She had the big timpani solos in that, but when you know we knew that we were going to do this concert of you know maybe five or six weeks ago, and then she would ask me, you know, can you tell me who's going to play what, or give me a list of the people because we should get organized, you know, in Zooms so they just practice whatever they wanted to, or they all play snare. Um, so she kind of instigated, like, we should get that organized. And then we had, I think, three, three percussion um, practices where they came in the evenings and uh, sorted that stuff out, because it's pretty hard to figure out who's going to play what. And, to, and for some of the people who've never really played any of these instruments, obviously, they don't have chimes and timpani and stuff like that at home. So Melanie did a great job helping us get ready for the concert. So thank you, Melanie. OK. Uh, junior musicians. This won't take very long because the junior class, oh boy. <laughs> they get a, a D, a block D with a little, uh, you know, like the kind of letterman jacket D with little notes on it, and there's only two of them who finish. So one of them is a drummer, and that's Dylan Johannesson. is our mallet percussionist um, and she is also the recipient of the outstanding junior musician uh, always doing a great job that's Kate Foster And then I have uh, two most improved musicians. To, that's hard to give out. Uh, most improved sometimes it's hard to pick, so sometimes I'll just do two. Um, and uh, so one's a junior, and then one is a senior, which is a strange thing. But uh, the, the senior class did a great job continuing to work really hard. Our junior, who is uh, one of our most improved musicians, is Morgan Santini, trumpet player and piano player. is no Jasmine Lewis Jasmine used to be a, uh, a flute player and then I think she switched to violin I know I saw her outside of watermelon music with a with a violin right she was equally coy then and kind of like don't look at me but she tur she learned how to play trombone and has done a great job been a, it was one of the sad things about not having kids in class is not getting to hear her all except for every once every six weeks on a recording. Uh, so we did uh, didn't have a marching band season, of course, and um, then when it became clear we weren't going back to school in the winter, we decided, okay, we'll just do our virtual kind of homecoming music. We'll pick some marching band songs, and we did those um, Aretha Franklin songs, which we made that virtual video. Which uh, God, I hope I don't have to ever do that again. It's so much. So much work to, to edit those videos. Um, but there were songs we played for two and a half months, and, and I think the kids liked them, and, and I had a good time doing them. So we're going to do three of them for you tonight, three of those, uh, those marching band songs, and uh, we're going to start with Respect.
and we're going to play um, I Say a Little Prayer, which uh, is another Aretha, Aretha Franklin uh, hit, and it's going to have a little bell solo from Kate Foster, who you met a little while ago, and a trumpet solo from Morgan Santini. And the last in our trio of songs uh, by Aretha Franklin is You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman.
So um, I wanted to, I kind of took a shot at Mr. Russo earlier, but you know, Mr. Russo retired in April and uh, uh, we're gonna, he, it's, it's, it's possible he's watching. I know he doesn't come to high school band concerts, but he said he watched that last stream we did. So Mr. Russo, if you're watching, uh, I want you to know that we're gonna miss you in Dixon and we wish you the, a long and happy and healthy retirement. Um, so give it up for Mr. Russo. And you may not know that we, um, the, the school district just recently hired um, Mr. Russo's replacement. The, the young man's name is Chris Lee. He's a m musician out of Sacramento. And um, so he'll start at John Knight Middle School. I think, I think he started, signed his paperwork yes, today. Uh, so he'll get to work over there. And it's probably good timing now uh, with this being a mess of a year and them starting at a new school kind of fresh uh, for that guy to have a, a new clean start there. So we're looking forward to uh, having Chris on board and having someone young and enthusiastic and someone who will send me French horns. I did mention that in the interview that I wanted him to send French horns to me, so. So welcome, Chris. Um, uh, tomorrow night is um, Panda Express night. So I'm gonna mention that and uh, then mention also that the, the boosters need you. They need you to eat Panda Express tomorrow night because we need some more money. And uh, Trevor, are you gonna come up here? Now, that, now would be the time. Um, we, she, Trevor Fosters are a fantastic um, booster president and uh, we have at least one person going on their way out. I think she might talk about that and um, our next meeting, she'll mention that too. Um, yes, so thank you. Um, so Peggy Hart has been with us. Well, this is her second child through band and so we- You're eight. You're eight. <laughs> so see what you could be doing, you'd be doing year eight with us. So um, we thank her and Denise Diaz is also leaving us. She has a graduating senior and we appreciate them. Um, hopefully Denise will be back in a year or so when her next child comes, but we, we do really need you. Um, Tuesday night we have our, next Tuesday night we have our band booster meeting. The Zoom will go out. Please join us, find out more about what we're doing. This is going to be a big reset year for us, coming back through marching band. We're going to need all the help we can get, and you can help a little, you can help a lot. Find your comfort level. Please, please join us. Just come on. We'll have a Zoom. Just come on and hang out and hear about what we're doing. But she doesn't like to have people say nice things, so we'll keep it really short. Um, you go above and beyond for our kids every single year, and this year, even though it looks very different, was absolutely no different. The time you put in and the care and attention you give our kids, we really appreciate. So thank you, Mr. Colson, from the booster. Okay, so we have uh, two Two more songs with everybody, and then we're going to do our like senior acknowledgments, and then the seniors are going to play some songs, uh, like a medley of songs. So we're we're getting close to the end here, um, and you know we didn't have a regular marching season as I mentioned, um, but uh, we did do that little virtual thing in uh, February and March, and it was really really nice. Um, our outgoing well, our our, our color guard instructor uh, Vicky Villapano. Pondo was uh, really awesome, and so were our seniors that, that um, you know, welcoming in some new Color Guard people and giving them a little Color Guard experience uh, during that time, and that was really appreciated going into next year. And so we thought we will just welcome them back and have them, you know, have a chance to actually perform in front of people because that that performance was just like a film performance. So it's not a spring concert unless you play something from a, a movie. So we're going to play uh, the Avengers. And then we're going to follow it up with a, a, a Mexican song called El Señor Luense and the color, featuring the color guard.
Okay, welcome to the podium, David Tejeda, everybody. David, this is a, like a Vonda tune, and uh, you know, like the people sing it, and there's a, a vocal introduction, and so for our recorded like computer version that we played along with at home, I had David, David uh, agree to sing the introduction. So we've been playing along with the recording of David singing over and over again, so let's go, David. Check one, two, three. Lo leo el otro día, me estoy de la palma, y cante y vale con banda, y si me adoro hasta el alma. David, okay, and we didn't ever practice how to get off, did we? Left haste, I don't know. We never practiced that. All right, so, um, so we have some senior awards to give out, and uh, it seems, so the seniors, it, it started this, probably unlikely, but in case Lily LaDuff is watching on YouTube, Lily Leduff is a former student from like 2007, and it was her idea to start the honor chords for band. I mean, other people on campus were doing them, but it was her idea, so thank you, Lily. And it was her idea for them to be black and white, like music looks on a paper or like piano keys. So all seniors get a, a honor chord, which they would wear to graduation, and um, the seniors that are finished, their SOA will get a plaque. Uh, and then we also have some special um, senior awards, so all seniors get acknowledged for surviving, as particularly in this year, but really any time you make it through five, four years of me, you deserve some, to be acknowledged at the concert. So, uh, Hannah Cornwell. Martin Kotapara, our low grass section leader. Iselda Diaz. Melanie Espinoza. Get all tangled up. Yeah. 
uh, our next person uh, it finished all of his scales, um, but I don't have his plaque because he finished them at the last second, and you've got to order the plaques ahead of time. So I'll get it for, to him by the end of the year, uh, Alexander Garibay. of the heart era, Quinn Hart. Walking a kill. And another person who uh, finished their rudiments last night, so won't be receiving their plaque today but we'll get one because they did get everything done. Um, better late than never, Jacob Lee. Jasmine Lewis. Jocelyn Martinez. Anna Miranda. Melanie Montez. Erica Munez. Justin Padilla. Pelayo. Justin Peterson. Lolly Reyes. Adriana Rios. We have um, three um, awards that are uh, come with a, a trophy or a plaque, and there is a plaque on the band room wall that is, you know, perpetual that your name gets added to. This one we only started, uh, I think, three years ago. It's the National School Color Guard Award, and that goes to Mariella Rubicala.
Joel Sanchez. Emma Showalter Perez. One more chord, one more name, and that's Emily Torres. Okay, and then um, some uh, three more senior awards, special uh, top senior awards. We have an outstanding musician. This person uh, was a, was a great saxophone player and uh, probably even a better guitar player. Unfortunately, we didn't get to hear him jam every day at lunch like we did most of last year. And that goes to Joel Sanchez. <laughs> Next, we have the, what's called the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award. This is kind of a, the award that a lot of schools give out. You know, each high school kind of throughout the country pretty much gives out these awards and has for a long time. Um, so top jazz musician for this year goes to anchoring the saxophone section on Barry Sax, Justin Padilla. <laughs> And uh, we're not having a choir concert, so I'm going to have uh, two choir awards. These two people ha happen to also be in band, so it makes more sense to kind of give them uh, their acknowledgement now as opposed to just hand it to them in class or just dropping it off on their porch or something like we had to do last year. So the, you give um, a choir award, national, I don't know what, what's it called? Quite a nice plaque. Um, Uh, top female and male uh, vocalist in your choir, and uh, top young lady in our choir is Kate Foster. <laughs> and then I'm sl slip the um, the uh, the choir ones in because. Um, this young man is going to get a couple of awards now. Uh, our, our outgoing drum major, can't say enough about him. He really got screwed, uh, didn't get to do the whole drum major thing. You know, he was a gung-ho assistant drum major last year, and uh, then, you know, no marching band season. But he was always there. He's in, he's in band, jazz band, and choir. He always comes to Zooms. So he always does his assignments. He's always enthusiastic. He's got a great s singing voice. He plays the guitar well. Uh, he's going to go in the Marines as a musician, uh, and I, I don't know if you noticed him, it's because you're kind of low and he's in the back, but he's a, a born performer. So receiving the National School Choir Award and the John Philip Sousa Band Award is Justin Padilla. No, not Justin Padilla, Justin Peterson. Damn the Justin. Sorry, Justin Padilla. Psych. I'm not in choir. <laughs> That's it. So, not a single hug there. The kids these days, they're usually I like begrudgingly hug me at the last concert, but none, not a one. I got all the way to the end without a hug. So, we'll see if that ever resumes. What? Oh, it's over. Um, you, you, your chances are done um, for that. So, but I do want to talk about the class of 2021 uh, as a whole um, and make a, kind of make, think, illustrate the point. Um, 
I feel very optimistic about the, the future, even though you know we've had super dark times here and you know we're, our numbers are down and we haven't had beginning band for a long time. Um, you know, the, the, the relationship between band directors and band students is special. And to, to illustrate that, in uh, 2017, we went to Hawaii, right? And those, two, those seniors, I felt very close to. I knew some of them from when they were kids. And I thought, man, they, I know these kids. I've, these are really special kids. And the freshman class, when we went to Hawaii, that was 2020. That's the, the, the grade that my son was in. And I knew a lot of them for a long time, too. And I thought, man, this 2017, those are special kids. I really, super strong bond with them. And these guys were in eighth grade. And a lot of them I didn't know at all at that point. And so that's what's kind of cool is like, I can have those kids that I really like and really feel connected to. And then there's a bunch of other kids that I haven't met yet, but we're going to make those relationships too. And uh, so there's something of the shared trauma, I think, you know, that this, this, we didn't, we, we kind of went through this together. I think that is, is part of it. And part of it is that we didn't get the senior year that we were meant to get. Um, you know, we were going to go to a New Orleans and that didn't happen. So all of that kind of makes it sort of bittersweet. But they have uh, been super the whole time. The senior class has done all their assignments and they're enthusiastic and they didn't kind of like give up. And uh, several of them have a, a zero, a first period band and a six period band. And, you know, they could so just as easily have gone home and not continued. So uh, I really appreciate that. It's helped me quite a bit get through this year. I, um, I often make the joke that I'm not gonna miss kids because like they're probably not gonna have another band director so they miss me, but I have other versions of them, right? That's my joke. It's like, I'm not gonna miss you because it's gonna be some other girl that plays flute that's just like you in the future. Uh, but I think I am gonna probably miss this class more because of that kind of not having this year not being what it was meant to be. So anyway, thank you class of uh, 2020. You guys are awesome. So what are we going to do with everybody else? Are they going to move? Yeah. Okay, so they're going to do their little senior medley. So if you're not a senior, how about if you get up and stand out there somewhere? It would be better than just screwing around in the band room. And then if you're a senior that's not in the front row, move into the second row. And the drummers, you should move up, Justin. You guys should push those chairs and stand aside and move up closer so you're not so far away. So I don't know when this tradition began, but the seniors do a, a, a song, and it's always something that they kind of pick out and they want to do, and mostly I don't really help with that. And I did help a little bit, like help buy the music, and they, it was super cute. They wanted to have some practices, so they came on some asynchronous um, Wednesdays. I think I'm saying this on the internet when we weren't really supposed to be here on asynchronous Wednesdays, but they wanted to come, and I was like, you guys can do it without me. And it was so funny, because they're like, we want you to help us. You, we, that's what we've been missing. We're missing when you kind of it, are interacting with us and this stuff. So I thought that was pretty sweet. Um, so, but I'm not going to count this song off or conduct, if that's okay. They're going to do it without me. So Justin, you're going to, Justin Badia, you're going to count it off? All right, he's going to get it. So here's the seniors playing uh, four songs, four mystery songs. See if you can tell what they are. short and simple, probably not as short because I tend to talk too much without even realizing, but uh, Colson, we just wanted to give you a big thanks for everything you've done. I know the past year hasn't been the best, but you never gave up on us. Uh, you always found a way to make our class engaged, and uh, I know for us seniors, we couldn't attend many events and have the full band experience, but uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. I'm not trying to cry, so. Um, it's not fake. It's not fake. 
Uh, the past four years have been one, it's been one hell of a ride. Uh, I know at times you'd be a real pain in the ass, but uh, <laughs> you, but uh, you know, um, you always found a way to, I don't know, I, what the, I can't even say You would always uh, push us to do harder and always believed in us. And uh, yeah, we appreciate it a lot. We're gonna miss you. I'll come visit you and stuff. Is this is this where we is this is, wait is, 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 is this is this where we hug? It's very awkward, but uh, we um, got you a gift. Uh, just waiting. I think. <laughs> yeah, I totally forgot. But uh, yeah, you want me? I don't know. I thought they were coming. <laughs> Yeah, we use your uh, we use your wagon if that was okay. <laughs> yeah, we didn't even tell you. Put a wagon inside the wagon. Then we also have this uh, frame so that we can be immortalized on his wall forever. Uh, we all signed it.
All right, the class of 2021. Good job, you guys. They were scared on that, I think, because they were probably rusty. It's been a while. Um, so, if the, if that live stream is still going, it was a miracle. Um, and anybody still watching, thanks for watching. If you, if well, if not, I guess it doesn't matter, does it? Um, we, those of you who are putting your instruments away, all you guys over there, you need to come and put all these chairs and stands on the rack, as well as, of course, put the percussion away. Because the class of 2021, I didn't get any hugs, so they gotta come and give me a hug and uh, take a photograph with me. But you guys over there need to put some stuff away. All right, so thanks for being here, and good night.